We are good. We are good. Back in the living flesh. The living flesh. As the opposed living. to the, that dead flesh we were in. That digital dead flesh. <laughs> that DDF. Hey, girl, what's up? You DDF? Podcast title. <laughs> DDF. That'll be great to come out the day after Thanksgiving when everyone's trying to eat their leftovers and they're just like, ew. Exactly. What is Throw this up. title? Throw ew. Up. Ew. Who's, who's watching it with that voice? I don't know. DDF is dance, dance, fucking. <laughs> dance, dance, fucking. Dance, dance, fucking. No G, a little apostrophe after the end. Dance, dance, fucking is an arcade. The same, it's the same arcade thing, mm-hmm. but you just have a chick in front of you and you just... That's so much worse. You gotta hold the bar the whole time in the back so that you <laughs> stabilize yourself. You. Jesus <laughs> Christ. That's the worst. It's the Fallout Boys song. If you bust it up before the song ends, you lose. Hmm. Dance, dance, we're <laughs> fucking around <laughs> on Thanksgiving. Who makes that? Konami? What's up, Konami? Hire us. Yeah. And Fallout Boy, give us the, the rights to that yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do good things. We promise. We'll do the uh, Weird Al Yankovic parody version of Dance, <laughs> Dance, but it's Dance, Dance, Fucking. <laughs> and the music dance, video is just dance, that. Dance. It's the same song. It's just fucking after Dance, Dance every time. Yeah. So, so we play video games technically. That's technically, what this podcast yes. is. Um, but we normally intro this shit with a little bit of, you know, life shit. Life shit. And just in general, like what's going on in the happenstance of life. Um, obviously, this is coming out the day after Thankmas. Yeah. yeah. Happy Black Friday. Yeah. Even though that's not a thing anymore because Black Friday Dude. has been going on since the end of October. I keep online. getting a notification <laughs> about Black Friday deals every day from the Walmart app, which I don't even use. I have the same app and I've been getting yeah. them too. I, I only use it when I'm in store and I'm like, there's no scanners because Walmart sucks app. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Yeah. But yeah, they're like, Yo, the Black Friday deals start. And I'm like, it's May. It's May. <laughs> like, what the fuck are we doing right now? Who are you trying to fool? It's been like that, too, because it's just like, I've been getting just notification after notification, like, holy shit, it's Black Friday! I'm like, it's Halloween! We're paying you to take this, but not really. <laughs> you won't believe, door busted, you won't believe the sales! Everything's three dollars! Factually, for some yeah, that for, I just yeah. got today, yeah. <laughs> I just got some shit today that was three dollars, surprisingly. <laughs> If it processes, we'll see. Um, but yeah, man. Um, well, how's life been? What you been up to in life? I've been up to a few different things. I've had some life changes. Since last Friday when we record? No, we record last... It was like... Wednesday? It was Wednesday last week, so we've had some time okay. to really become new people. We've had a week to, to grow right. and evolve. Um... Um... Nothing crazy, honestly. Um... With those Black Friday deals, what you been spending your money on? Clothes. I've needed to revamp my... Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, to lead it. you into it. I'm like, <laughs> this is what I'm trying to lead us into. I've been trying to revamp my wardrobe just because I felt like I was wearing the same shit. Like, I felt like a cartoon character where you open the closet and it's the same outfit. Yep, that's me. Because five days a week I wear the same thing. Because I go to work, I get dirty, so I just wear, like... I have mad black t-shirts, so I just throw on one of my plain mm-hmm. black t-shirts and some jeans and boots and go to work. Boots um, with the fur. With the fur, with the fur. Um, and then there's family upstairs, if you can hear that. It's Thanksgiving time. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, what was I saying? I boots with the fur. Thought. Boots with the fur. Yeah, so I kept, felt like I was wearing the same shit. So... And then slowly but surely, like knit, like buying things and buying. That's when all those Black Friday notifications work on me. Mm-hmm. So I've been like, oh, that's on sale. I can go get that now. I looked at that hoodie a million times, and now I can just mm-hmm. go grab it for like thirty dollars less, which Good is great. Price. So I've been just taking advantage of Black Friday by doing that. I've bought no like fun stuff. Like I didn't buy any like game stuff, which I feel like I'm about to because Steam is having some really good sales. Yes, they are. I got I think 7 notifications from Steam once their like the the Black Friday sale went live. Mm-hmm. And it was it was funny because I it's technically in news but not it's not really a news story, but um our lovely We don't promote the red cup anymore. Because <laughs> we have our own cup. 
<laughs> Go on. I have no idea what I was saying. Um, Steam. <laughs> My fucking brain <laughs> just went off the rails <laughs> immediately. And I was just like, Mona Lisa's what bad is box. happening? <laughs> what is happening? And I just kept... Anyway, uh, <laughs> what the fuck was I saying? Steam. Steam. Shit. Um... Uh, I got seven notifications from them from Devolver Games because Devolver themselves actually tweeted out like two, three hours before the sale went on and was like, guys, stop buying our games for a couple hours. Trust us. Mm -hmm. And then the sale went live and then my Steam app was like, this game's on sale. This game's on sale. This game's on sale. Like from your watch list. And I'm like... Is the Devolver shit still? Yeah. Well, all right. There's I a shit been ton on, of it. I haven't, I haven't even done any of my... Like, I save a lot of Steam shit, but I haven't been yeah. on to get any of it. I, I toss a lot of stuff on my, like, my wish list just because I know that I want to play certain things, but I know that I will never have enough time to. Mm -hmm. So if, it, the, if the price is low enough, like $5 or below, I will immediately buy a game Right. if it's on sale. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, I'm just like, it's there just in case one day I'm just like, I don't know what to do today. And then I look at my wish list. <laughs> Finally. There it is. But um, yeah, man, Devolver is clutch for that. And Steam Steam sales are the best. I can't wait until next year in summer when you get to experience your first Steam summer sale when you're actually operating on a Steam device uh -huh. now. Like, technically I mean, you had the PC. I, yeah, I had it. But you don't play PC games. I had it in the summer, though. But you don't play PC games. You didn't have the Steam Deck. No, no, that's then. what I meant. I had the Steam. I had the, the Steam, Steam Deck. Summer Sale wasn't during the Steam Deck time, though. I don't think it wasn't. I don't believe so. I had. I got my Steam Deck. If it Steam was, Deck it was when you were still downloading all the ROMs. On July seventh. Maybe it was going on still then. I don't know. Either way, that around that time I wasn't engaging because the only reason I know that's when I got my Steam Deck is because that's when Brendan was born. Yeah, so you didn't really have a Steam Deck. Technically, like I had it, but it yeah. was I didn't like touch it yeah. until like a week later, and then I all I was doing was getting all the emulation yeah. on there. So you technically still didn't have a Steam Deck because you didn't play any games on it yet. Yeah, I feel like you have played less actual games from Steam on that than like games that are emulated. Yeah, which is hilarious, and then Police Station as well. Yeah, from uh, what's it called? Remote Play, which is crazy. Steam Deck's the best console of all time, I think. I. Well, I played I played more Steam things after that because I got that Shovel Knight game, I got oh, Rogue yeah, Legacy yeah. two, I downloaded the Resident Evil games on there. Nice. Um, I got some Steam games in my library. There's a part of me that wants to play the uh, the R E verse game because mm -hmm. it just looks goofy and stupid and bad. It does look bad. Time. I have to, I've literally heard no one talk about yeah. it. Not a, not one person. I want to play it for shits and giggles, just like just for fun, you know. Mm -hmm. Just like a ha ha, look at this crap that they promised us when the game came out, <laughs> and then it didn't come out till later, and then it was crap. Of course, it's crap. Picture yeah, of Spider-Man. crap. But um, <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, what else? What else is going on in life? Uh, I went to a concert. Oh yeah, Friday. Yeah, right. on Friday. This was my first ever concert. Ever? No, no. That I got zooted at. Oh, okay. On purpose. All right. On purpose. On purpose. I've gotten secondhand high at a previous con. I went to Ozfest once with my mm -hmm. mother. How which was is, that? It was a time. It was literally. I think the headliners were Motley Crue and Ozzy Osbourne, obviously. <clears throat> and I only knew like three of the bands, but she's like, "You like this kind of music?" And just bought the tickets, you know, because mm -hmm. like. Meanwhile, I'm playing, like, bands that are metal-ish, but not really. And, right. like, rock-ish, but not this rock. So, mm -hmm. I'm like, I know Crazy Train. There you go. And that's it. So. I and then fucking Drowning Pool was there. And I know the one song from them that they ended with. You know, the one. The one. Let the bodies hit, hit the, the floor. floor. That's Let it. The, yeah, see? That's the only song I knew. I just need the song. Yeah. yeah. Bands, I'm like, who is that? And yeah. somebody will say a song, and I'm like, ah, oh, that I that didn't song. know any of the bands there or whatever, but when I was a kid, and there was so much weed being smoked there, and it was in the atrium, like, at mm. BB&T. Yeah. So, like, there was so much smoke in the air of weed, and I was, like, 12. <laughs> so I got secondhand high. And then then your mom did, too. I don't know if she did, because she was acting normal. She was laughing at me a lot, because I was... I was acting up. We went to McDonald's on the way home, and I was freezing cold. And I was like, I'm just so fucking cold. And I took my fries, and I dumped them down my shirt. 
because I was so cold. I, this is 12 years old. Like, genuinely. <laughs> I got to put you in the, the, the yeah. mind of a 12-year-old. Plus, I was, I, I was also, like, trying to, like, make her laugh a little bit. Oh, it, okay. You know, right. like, I'm high, and I'm also... 12. 12, and this is a funny thing that happened. And she, it was funny. But um, I recently went to this concert on Friday, and it was funny because we were looking for parking the whole time. Couldn't find it. I had to piss so bad mm -hmm. in the car. Finally got out, <clears throat> and I pissed in this man's private parking lot behind a tractor trailer before we walked into the vendor. And then I, as we're walking in, I was like reaching my, you know, like the little pocket in yeah. your jeans, the mm -hmm. little one. Just the pocket inside yeah. the pocket. I pull out my, my edible that uh, Anna allowed me to have because I forgot mine. And I was like, whoop, pop, pop that shit, got a beer. Went in, saw like the last two songs of the first band, Stand Atlantic. They're good. Um, but we missed most of their show. And then the edible starts to kick in. Of course. And I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. Mm -hmm. And this band comes on, and they're called Fit for a King. Okay. I've never heard of them before. Mm -hmm. They start playing, and I'm like, I fuck with this hard. Okay. Like, I like a lot of what's happening right now. <laughs> This is great. The bass player had um, on his guitar. There's these things called um, strap locks, mm -hmm. where instead of like just putting your strap on your bass, they lock the strap on there. And he had a wireless cord to plug into the amp, so he would spin it around his body. Oh, that's cool. But he was doing it like a lot, and he was like a Beyblade, pretty much. <laughs> so that was happening. He was a Beyblade like, of himself. Oh yeah. So I was fucking with his heart, and then they they end their set, and I'm like. I really liked them. Then I had to pee. So I went out and as I'm leaving, I look at their merch table and I see this green hat with a dope ass logo on it. And I'm like, oh, what logo is that? And the guy's like, oh, it's Fit for a King. They just finished. I'm like, mm -hmm. yo, I fucking I loved it. them. And he's and like, this is the hat. Isn't this it? is the hat. Yes. So I bought it. And the funny part was I kind of bought it both because I liked the music and also because the name mm -hmm. goes King. with mine. Yeah. And I was like, this is a band called Fit for a King. It's fit for me. My There's last name is that. And I was, yeah. is it I'm dying tears? over here. No. You're crying from how emotionally charged the story is. I'm crying from how amazing that hat is. I've never yeah. seen anything like it. It's a like good it. logo. Surprise. I it, was is, like, it is. I saw it and I liked the color. I was like, this is a weird green. I've never seen a hat this color green before, just randomly with a cool logo. I'm buying it. And then I walked back to the people I was with and we were like, have you always had a hat? And I'm like... <laughs> were they also high? One was, and then the other two were drunk, and then one of them was kind of in the middle of drunk, technically. All right, they're all high, okay. Yeah, but like... They're all intoxicated <laughs> in some way. I casually walked back from the bathroom with a hat, and they like genuinely were like shocked that I had a hat. But it was great. Um, needless to say, going to a concert high is the correct way to go to a concert, because that shit was fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. The problem, though is when the high is still kicking in towards the end of the concert and you didn't have dinner. Yeah, you need that. So you stop at Wawa. Mm -hmm. And now I feel like my high is coming down because my feet hurt so bad. So like I'm focused on the feet pain. But then I fall asleep in the car. Nice. And we wake up at the Wawa. And as I open my eyes, it was like the noise from Inception happened. It was like... Oh shit! And I was like, "Oh no, I'm still high." As I'm getting out of the car, unable it's to stand straight, you. yeah. And I'm like, "Fuck, I'm still high. I thought it was gone. This is not good." <laughs> Are you on the other side of high now? I'm kind of like in like the come down, but like it was like still at the peak. Okay, I got you. And I walk into Wawa, and I ordered about thirty dollars worth of hot food from the screen. What did you get? I got Specifically. the the combo meal, meatball parm, with a soup of tomato soup, then a cornbread, <laughs> mac and cheese, garlic knots, and God then I got damn. two waters. Hungry? I was starving. Now mm. here's the best part: I crashed at Anna's place that night because we were playing T and D the next day. I ate all of the food that, that night. night, and then I fell asleep while she put on this thing called Puppet History, which is like. I feel uh, like I've seen it's on YouTube. It, it's on YouTube. It, like they do like history, and it's like a puppet, and like they do like quizzes throughout it to it's be in like the name. fun. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I, it was good. And I fell asleep during it, and I'm like, <laughs> you know, like fucking like pool of water in my mouth, bubbling. You know, <laughs> that kind of like cartoon you were fucking sleep. Patrick Star sleep. Straight up, and, <laughs> and then I think that I'm asleep for hours, 
and Anna finally goes to go to bed, and I'm sleeping on the couch, and she's like, I'm going to bed, do you need anything before I go to sleep? I'm like, oh no, my bad, well, how long, oh man, I thought I feel like I've been asleep for hours, she's like, it's been 20 minutes. <laughs> it's a long time in yeah. Thailand. It was, and uh, <laughs> needless to say, it was great. I spent too much money on uh, a hat and food. But how it, much was the hat? So, the hat was $30. That's really cheap for concert merch. Yeah. But here's the thing. The food at the venue was $30 per thing. Yeah, it was a $30 item for the food. Can you guess what the food item Hot was? Hot dog. No. Something stupid and small that's 30 bucks. I don't know. You're getting close. Pizza. No. Nope. Burger. No. Popcorn. It's like a burger, but without the meat. Bun? Like ball? Uh, uh, it's like a burger. Roll? It's like a cheeseburger, but without the meat. A veggie burger? No, no meat at all. No nothing in veggie there. Veggie is not a. There's no any sort of patty on it. I, well, all right, all right. A Bun? veggie sandwich? <laughs> a so lettuce let's sandwich? Let's think about a cheeseburger, real quick. a plain cheeseburger. All right. Plain cheeseburger. Okay. So just a cheese sandwich. Which is also called a grilled cheese with $30? $30. Was it special cheese and bread? Just said grilled cheese. $30. For, for, a grill, for a grilled cheese to make sense for $30, it would have to be, first of all, a substantially sized grilled cheese. The bread you know would have to be, be like this. You know it wouldn't be, though. And it would have to, like, be the most top shelf cheese. This is a concert venue. I know. In, like, Fishtown area ish. Yeah. That ain't good no. cheese. No. That ain't good bread. Thirty, but I, I got a hat. Cheese though. of the gods. Yeah, but I got a hat. True. That's a better yeah. purchase. I think it's a better purchase. If the cheese, he bought the cheese sandwich, it'd be gone, but the hat remains. Yeah, exactly. And then I'll wear this a bunch mm-hmm. until I eventually probably lose it because that's how it works. No, you can't lose that one. Maybe. <clears throat> We'll see. Burps. But, um, yeah, I guess it's time to get into the main show. Though. Yeah, let's get into the show. Do that beautiful show thing. Such. When I see it, I'll see like a waveform that's just a block. Okay. All right. That's enough. I should leave that little part in. Just that. <laughs> eh? Level up, gamers, and welcome back. And I apologize for whatever that guy was just doing. Um, another episode of Save Before Quitting. Um, I go by the name of Ant. And you are... Hello, weary traveler, and you are? <laughs> exactly. What brings you to this neck of the woods? Uh, that's I'm your, Chris. Your, that's your second warning. Um, <laughs> and as always... I had an espresso. That'll do it. That'll as do always, it. <laughs> you can find us at uh, Save Letter B Number 4 Quitting on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube. That is right. You heard it first. Titty. Where are you going to put them? Titties. I haven't been doing it as of late, as much. Oh. I, I can for this one, obviously. I mean, yeah, you, really? you did the motion, so I'll do it. But I haven't <laughs> been doing it as much because I'm like, eh. Yeah, no, I'm Like, sometimes you. I'm just like, we kind of just say titty, and it's fine. No, it's fine. But, like, when you motion and you're like, eh, eh, you know, like, like now I have to do it twice. <laughs> you know, like, that's just the way it works. You like that? See, now there's just one right there. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to do it that yeah. time. Okay. Um, just holding up a Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. I'm giving future like, Chris is gonna you're future, gonna be doing this at a time where you're just like oh. future leftovers full Chris is going to kill past Chris again yes again um save for quitting.com always filled out if you want to get some merch get all the merch get all the good merchy merchy merch 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 do the merch dance um Beautiful. Serene. I'm not even gonna lie. Sometimes I just do that when I'm gaming. Like if I'm having it's a, a bad time. Reset. Yeah, like when I'm playing Overwatch and I'm having a bad time, I just like 
reset the zen, you know? I, I respect that. They're toxic over um, there. They called me a pussy. What? They called me pussy. Who called you pussy? An Overwatch champ. I got called a pussy today. For what? We'll get into it. Say for quitting at yeah. gmail.com. Always spelled out if you'd like to email us as well. Do that. Uh, follow us on... Join the Discord. Join the Discord. Join the conversation. It's an ongoing, ever-evolving, hilarious, informative yeah. conversations going on in the Discord. Um, probably the best week to join, too. So we probably post in Black Friday deals that we find true. in gaming and whatnot. And we'll be sending them y'all's way. Just check out. Yes, please, please, please join us. Um, Patreon. Patreon. We're back, baby. We are back, baby. New episode dropping probably next week. Probably next week. And then we got to do the live after that. Yeah. yeah. Well, the live will be the main. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. fine. <clears throat> we uh, know what we're doing. Yeah, you know, we're getting back into the swing of things. Swanging. Um, we cherish times we can be together now yeah, because really. the way my life is set up currently, it's Listen, man, really hard to find a moment. It, it is completely fine, and I appreciate uh, being allowed to be here the night before Thanksgiving with the stress that that brings on. Man. So. Uh, other than that, we might as well get into the normal swing of things, and by then I mean... What did you play this week? I'm going to put the actual thing over that, but still. Uh, you want to add to it? Each week we'll add another like singing voice so that it sounds like a chorus at some point. All right. And so, so what is the tune again? It's really it's literally what did you play this okay, week? Cool. What did you play this week? All right, I'll add that to it. Then next week we'll do another voice, and then we'll just keep stacking it until <laughs> we have a fucking choir. it's not going to sound good anymore. It's going to sound like a choir. It's going to sound terrible. It's going to be like Sister Act 2. Electric Boogaloo. Sister Everybody. Act 2 is better. It is better. It's so much better. I agree. I love that fucking final performance so much. I haven't seen it in a long time, but I used to watch Every time it comes, come on, you watch it. Yeah. You know a G-O-D? Yeah, you know me. <laughs> I'm out of my chorus. Now I want to watch it. I, I might tomorrow. I was going to watch a fucking... What's it called? Wild Wild West today. But... I, I, I just didn't have the time because work. Like, no. I was I was getting pile-drived in my ass today at work. Ouch. And I was so close to watching it because some person on TikTok posted the Evil West intro like mm. of what the main menu is, and it looks badass. It's just mm. him, like gearing up with all of his like metal yeah. weapons and shit and they put wild wild west the music <laughs> behind it and i'm like i'm about to go watch this shit now explain getting pile driving your ass not the actual action but you at work oh it was literally entails. like i thought i was done and i got everything that was due done and then my other co-worker that like qc's all my work was like hey by the way all of this isn't done and still needs to be done. And I was like, shit, you did tell me about that this morning. And I completely forgot about it because I was doing other shit that was due before the end of the day. Mm. And I thought I was done. But here's another 15 to 40 things that I need to do. Yikes. How long so, did it take you to do it? Like an hour. Like That's a, not too I, bad. I'm quick with shit if I need to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like if they're like, this needs to be done ASAP, I'm like, done. That's a model employee yeah. right there. I, I just do what I gotta do. That's what. That's all you can do. Now, are we talking about what we played this week now? Oh, that's right. We did the jingle. Yeah, we did do that. I mean, that's probably still in it somehow, and it's kind of funny. No, I'm, not, I'm we, keeping it in. Yeah, most of it at least. It's fine because I played nothing. <laughs> Since the last time we recorded, I've touched no games. Damn. I've watched a lot of Pokemon Violet. That Adrian's been playing. How's she enjoying it? She's enjoying it. She's mainly handheld, right? No, she's been playing it on the TV. Really? Yeah. Does she, I mean, she's played it on the handheld, too. Does she like it on the TV? Because that's where mo most of the issues come from docked. She played it, uh... She plays like when she's laying in bed, but she's fine with it. Okay. I mean, to be fair, like, she's she noticed some jack. Like, she even said herself, she was like... But the texture, she's like, the grass and everything looks like Nintendo 64. I was like, it does look like Nintendo yeah. 64. 
There, I, I did like a random stream this week when I was playing it, man, and needless to say, there is a lot of glaring issues, and like, yes, a lot of it can technically be fixed with like patches, maybe, mm -hmm. but like, a lot of it is just like bad. Yeah. Like just straight up bad, and I'm like, how do you allow this to be a thing? I don't like, know. <clears throat> one thing that really annoyed me as of late. And it's just like a side thing. It's not that big. It's like game breaking. But um, shiny Pokemon um, is a thing that you can find like every X amount of Pokemon. There's a chance that it'll be a different colorway. Mm -hmm. Blah, blah, blah. It's nothing different. It's the same Pokemon. It's just a different color. Yeah. That's it. The issue is, is that there are a lot of Pokemon that have shiny forms that the color is like hardly different whatsoever. Yeah. And as of late, I've recently just found out, because in Arceus, when you play that and there's a shiny, it makes a noise. It goes, bling, like mm -hmm. a little like bell noise. And if they're on your screen, there's a little sparkle effect that shows up near Okay. Them. They don't have that in this game. Well, that seems all. like an oversight, especially coming from Arceus. Yeah. Literally, if there's a shiny Pokemon, which the Pokemon are in the overworld now, you can just walk up to them casually and catch them. Mm -hmm. If they're shiny, you just see them as shiny. But the issue is there are a ton of Pokemon that are just like, this is a white Pokemon, and then this is a cream shiny. Yeah. And like you can't tell unless you go into battle with it, which is just a waste of fucking time. Yeah. And like that really annoyed me because it was even in my my stream chat, everyone was like, Yeah, it's gonna make the, the shiny noise if it does that. And I'm like, Are you sure? Cause I don't think it does. And then I the next day found like multiple TikToks of people walking past shiny Pokemon that were mm -hmm. in like the background of their stream, and the chat saw yeah. But they didn't, and they were like, you missed a shiny. And they are like, yeah, it doesn't make the noise anymore. I'm like, why? Why? That's, that's why? so why? stupid. Why? <laughs> but, yeah. The, the, uh, like I said, I've been watching her play it, and while it looks fine, yeah. it, it, in practice, it's not bad. Yeah, it's just another Pokemon game. Yeah, and I get the open-worldness of it, it's just that I couldn't... I will say it's better, but that the open worldness is good now. That's, like, the thing. Like, it's all yeah. like, you can't... They can never go back now. Mm -hmm. um, I'll say that much, but, um... I don't know, man. I, I Initially, I think in, in the Discord, I was like, I blame Nintendo. But no, it isn't Nintendo, because there's other games that have come out for Switch that look dramatically better than this. Yeah. Like, you can think of, like, um... Obviously, Breath of the Wild. Um, but even it, Breath of the Wild doesn't look stunning. It, but it looks it. like it shits yeah. on this. Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, but just game look in general. But so I, I, it came down to me. I was like, all right, maybe it's Game Freak. I don't know, man. It, it but could, then Arceus it's a bit of both. looked better than this. Yeah, and the the funny part is some Pokemon actually have like textures now. Like I, I remember, I think it was in the first gym battle that I did. Um, and maybe it was just a regular trainer to be fair, but they had a pseudo Wudo, which is mm -hmm. like the tree Pokemon with like the, the green balls mm -hmm. on his hands. And it had like a tree texture and it wasn't just brown. Like it normally is in every single game. And I was like, that looks good. Yeah. Like that looks like surprisingly good for this Pokemon. It looks like it's more real worldy kind mm -hmm. of and whatnot. And then like. You look around and the grass is just like PNGs. Yo, what is like up with the grass? Images and fucking, there's a guy in the background that's walking, but they're like, <laughs> like I'm like my guy, like what's what's happening? And then <laughs> there was literally a part in the stream where I saw a person walking down the street towards me, and they were like two frames a second almost. And then I'm like, watch as he gets closer to me, and the frame rate goes up, and then it just gets slowly smoother and smoother. And I'm like, whoop, and he's leaving me. And I turn around. He's just like. <laughs> just dying. <laughs> just being like, crushed under the frames. And I'm like, my <laughs> God, man. Like, there's no way in hell there's an excuse for this. Right. But I, I don't know. It's been okay, though. So it, it's, an, it's a Pokemon game. I don't expect Pokemon games to be good when it comes to visuals. The fact that there's three storylines going on, though, is really cool to me. And it's. it's like that's neat under all the jank it's very ambitious yeah the crazy part even more so is you walk into that first main city and there's like this square that's like you know with like people existing 
and like there's like a busker playing guitar and you walk up to him and you hear the guitar play it changes like the overall music into guitar music which is mm-hmm. pretty neat there are bongos playing which makes no fucking sense but <laughs> i digress and then you walk in the square and there's like restaurants and you can mm-hmm. walk up to each individual restaurant they each have different food options for you don't know why or what effects they have maybe it's the new drugs of the game you know like with like the x attack and yeah. x speeds they still have them but whatever and like the drawings and illustrations of these foods are like Ghibli. G- Ghibli? Ghibli. Why, why do I feel like I'm saying that wrong? Studio Ghibli. Yeah, it's like Ghibli levels of food. Like, mm. it's fucking stunning. The way the food and, looks. And, and that's like, another thing. I, I, what's going on here? Why did the budget go here? I was saying this to Adrian. I was like, why do some things look fantastic yeah. and some things look broken? Yeah, I, I don't. And then, like, some of the story has been shit, too. Like, the, the main Pokemon that's, like, the legendary on the box. Fucking, when you first find him, he's, like, you know, stranded on the beach, like, all, like, oh, I'm so weak, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And you give him a sandwich that your mom <laughs> packed you, because it's, like, a key item, I guess. And I'm, like, okay, that makes sense. You know, you're befriending it the first time. And then I went to do the first side quest for, like, the guy that's trying to find all, like, these, like, gargantuan Pokemon that's just bigger versions of the regular ones. And we're in this cave after we've won the battle, and I'm sitting there, and he's like, Hey, I made sandwiches, and hands me a sandwich, and as he hands me it, that fucking Pokemon pops out of his ball, <laughs> and he's just like, Gimme! <laughs> and like, you can choose to or not. And I'm like, yeah, fucking take it. I don't care. Digital <laughs> if sandwich. If it comes out like that, I'd be terrified. Dude, like, I, do I have to give you this? It powered him up. Of course he it did. He became stronger from sandwich. Podcast title Stronger, stronger from, from sandwich. sandwich. Don't you get stronger from sandwich? No. You, you would have got stronger from that thirty dollar grilled cheese. Apparently, I would have gone <laughs> super saiyan. That sh- I would have gone into the pit and just like beat everyone's fucking ass with the grilled cheese, and I would be shitting myself because lactose them with the grilled cheese. No, I'd eat the grilled cheese, then I'd beat their ass, and then I would, as I'm teabagging them, just defile them because lactose. It's either stronger from sandwich or a thirty dollar grilled cheese. <laughs> Percano Los Dos. Stronger of sandwich, colon. This is $30 grilled cheese. Yeah. All our child's about to start having colons now. Yeah. God damn. But yeah, Pokemon's okay, I would say. Yeah. I've been I, also playing. She's been playing Violet, right? Yes. I have Scarlet, personally. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. What'd she pick for our starter? The, the, uh... Cat? The cat. I did as well. Because grass. Yeah. Because that's what you start with. Grass type is the best type. Mm-hmm. And that's not even like a hey I smoke weed now thing. No, I've, I've picked grass. It's Bulbasaur. Yeah. So. Bulbasaur is the best Pokemon of all time. Number one for a reason. I have no yeah number no one rebuttals from that. That's, that's that's the thing. Number um, one in the hood, G. Yeah, I do love the Fuecoco, like the the fire type starter, mm-hmm. like in his base form. I am not a fan of the middle form. It looks kind of goofy mm-hmm. and somewhat anti-Semitic. Yeah, not, I saw not the Semitic, middle form. That's not the right word <laughs> that's that's the thing that kanye is yes that is the thing that kanye is yeah. what's the word i'm looking for stronger like just better racist? faster anti-semitic <laughs> Jesus. you know the kanye is long the podcast title <laughs> god damn oh man there was something i saw about him before i left that was hilarious apparently he's buying like balenciagas and signing them and selling them for twenty dollars uh he's a cartoon yeah he doesn't have any money anymore his bank clocked him out apparently yes yeah, I wonder why. Anyway, but um, yeah, Pokemon. So, do you haven't played anything else besides watching Pokemon? That's it. It's all okay, done. I have to go through a list now. Jesus, it's on um, you. All right, wouldn't be the first time. So, I played a little bit of Fortnite today, just to get some more Battle Pass stars, mm-hmm. so I can try and get that Gwen skin where she has the unmasked face um, before that ends. That the, statement out of context is the most horrifying statement yeah, I've just, ever seen. Fortnite, never heard. Bad. Um, I but, want that Gwen skin. I want that skin. <laughs> Good thing I don't have my glasses on, right? Give me your skin. Dommer it up. But um, fucking <laughs> go watch yellow, the last episode. Yellow hoodie yeah. on Jesus. <laughs> um, but fucking, I played that a little bit. Uh, the, the the event for the season finale is coming in nine days. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a live event at like 4 p.m. Eastern. I might try and stream it depending on what day it is. I think it's think it's a friday or saturday so in theory i might be able to finagle it where i'm live for it so yeah. there's that um nothing exciting on the fortnite front uh overwatch 
I've been playing a shit ton. I just got ranked in both support and tank. Mm -hmm. I got fucked. Congrats. Not in a good way. Oh. Bad way. Again, another pile driving situation in which, um, as support, I did phenomenally. Mm -hmm. And I'm not even trying to like hype myself up. Just statistically, I did phenomenally. Got it. If you look at the numbers for the games that I played, holy shit that I do good. Right. That's it. I placed after, I think, 15 matches total I played. After seven wins, you get your rank. Mm -hmm. After 20 losses, you get your rank. That's the way it works. So okay. every seven wins, it'll update your rank either up or down, or every 20 losses, up or down. Okay. That's the way it's working now. I got 17. seven wins and out of 15 games, so pretty decent. Not mm. terrible, but pretty decent. Almost half. Almost half, but if you look at the numbers in every single game... I was popping off. But it doesn't matter if you were doing good. It just matters if it's a win or a loss, apparently. Okay. I got ranked bronze five. Bronze oh, wait, five. is this what you put on Snap or was it TikTok? I think it was this Snap. was Snapchat maybe like a week ago, and then mm. there's a new thing that happened this week. But that one was for support, and I was super mad about that because I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm doing really well. This should take into account my statistics as opposed to just wins and losses, in my opinion. Whatever. It's a free-to-play game. I can't complain about it anymore. Um, then I just recently, today, got ranked for tank. And I also got seven wins in a row. And I think a total of two losses. So, like, much better. Right. So you would think, better rank, right? I would assume. Bronze 5. Why? The same fucking rank as support did better as a tank. In fact, got more kills as a tank because that's just the role that you play as a tank the healer that i choose to play is very broken right now so she does a lot more damage than she kind of needs to do and she can kind of be a damage character at the same time as healing if you know how to right. play her right mm -hmm. i feel like i play her right i've been told by the haptic guys at least brett that i do play her that the, the correct way instead of exclusively doing damage i heal when i need to and whatnot mm -hmm. but i don't get it it doesn't make sense to me how i do so well and then i get ranked the lowest rank in competitive still haven't done the damage uh ranking yet or played any games in competitive as damage so i don't know what that's going to be but i'm assuming bronze five because i feel like nothing fucking matters but Ever. um and then today i had a game before i left <clears throat> and i put it in the discord because i was just so fucking flabbergasted by it we lost the game which i, do, I wasn't mad about and i wasn't like you know having any feelings about like we played well but we lost the other yeah. team was just simply better mm -hmm. they were hitting their shots when they needed to we weren't i had six thousand damage six thousand healing as moira that's good sounds good yeah it's better than the amount of healing that my other healer had which is beside the point that's fine if you're not doing good whatever you're having a bad game the damage player on our team, Junkrat, which his whole entire kit is, I shoot bombs into the middle of a grouping and they explode and do explosive damage. So he does eons more damage than me. He had 1,000 damage. And then put in the, the all chat for both teams to see, our healers fucking sucked. <laughs> of course it's all about you. And I'm like sitting there and I'm trying to understand. Mm. And I'm like, make it make sense how you're a Junkrat. You have 1,000 damage. I have four times the amount of healing as the other healer. And I have 5,000 more damage than you. And you're going to tell me that we're bad. Like, I just did not... You're like, make it make sense. Trolling or some shit. No, know. like, they were serious. Like, genuinely. Because that's the way that Overwatch players are. Like, when they, they try to, like, blame other players and shit, that's the way it is. Mm -hmm. It's just since the beginning of Overwatch 1, to be fair. So I was a little bit flabbergasted and mad about that, to say the least. But Overwatch, I love playing with friends. But when I play solo queue, it's so fucking defeating just because it feels like not a single game matters. No, no, yeah. Like, you yeah. could have the play of the game. You could win the game. You could have 30-plus kills no matter what, like, play you, that you do as tank damage or support. But there's always going to be one motherfucker on your team that's going to be a toxic piece of shit. I feel like that's just come to the territory yeah. at this point now. I just don't get it, man. And the hilarious part is, even on stream the other day, I think it was Friday, the past Friday, before um, the, the Pokemon one, 
I was like just casually playing Overwatch solos just to get ranked, and then I was gonna join up with friends because some of our friends are on console, so can't play comp right. with PC and console. So I do like two games, and I get in this one game with like a, like a kid and another person that are partnered. And this kid is dropping the F word and not fuck. I know what you mean. Casually. And I'm on stream like, God, I gotta mute him now. Like, this fucking sucks. And before I get the chance to mute him, because, like, I'm in the middle of gameplay, he's like, guys, don't report me. They're watching my account. I was already warned once. And I'm like, now I want to report you. Well, then, yeah. What yeah. The, like, what do you expect's gonna happen? I'm like, this. there's a reason... That they monitor voice chat now. Like, all the voice chat in-game is recorded now. And they warn you about that when you first, like, sign up for the game. Mm. Like, just so you know, this is a thing. If you use voice chat or text chat, like, if you type something horrendous, they will also send you a warning or ban you. Yeah. But if you say some horrendous shit, you're getting you're, reported. You're gone. So I reported him. Guess who got the notification today? Because the, the best part about reporting someone in Overwatch is... You get the notification? You get the notification if someone has action taken against them mm. for your report. So, logged on today. Someone that you reported has had action taken against their account. Thank you for being an Overwatch 2 player. And I'm like, well, I've only reported one player in the past two weeks. And it weeks. could only be that guy. So it was that kid. Yeah, it was a kid. Like, maybe <sighs> like 12, 13. What the you doing? Yeah, I was like, bro, I can't. I I could not believe it, and it was even worse because I was like, this is on stream. Like now I have to like, like do I clip this for content and like bleep it out? Like what do I do? like? I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do that. I didn't, and mm -hmm. I'm like, this is just you're bad. But that sucks. He earned that shit. Yeah. That's all it comes down to. Yeah, it's just bad, man. Um, but Watch in the your good fucking news, mouth. Yeah, do that, and also just don't say that because that's fucked up. Um, you, you can say whatever you want as long as it's not things like that. Like, I don't I don't give a fuck if you're cursing at me. Like, go ahead. Call me names. And yeah. Call me a shitty poopy heady. I don't care. No hate speech, though. Yeah. That's like, that's just crazy. It's a bit much. Um, but in good news, God of War Ragnarok. My God. Yes. I'd like, I, I plan to get back to that. I think I have surpassed the amount of hours you were at. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm about like 22, 24 maybe around mm -hmm. that area. Um, I kind of went back and did some side quests. I did the uh, the ones that you probably did at the start with the Mimir and uh, the gnomes. Or the, not gnomes. Uh, what are they called? The short people. Oh. The dwarves. Them. Yes, like those the, guys. Like, like the smoke towers that were the all yeah. put there. Mm. I did that. I went mm. back and did that. That was a fun one. I like that. It kind of humanized Mimir a little bit more and showed you that he was kind of a piece of shit back in the day, mm. which I liked. It and was, he was just feeling so bad about everything yeah. and shit. It was a very Joel moment for me, like Last of Us. Like it kind of made me feel like Mimir has these, you know, this dark past that we kind of don't even think about in the first game because we were just like yeah we need to get the head to have on our back to yeah. tell us all these stories because he's the knowledge person i enjoy hearing his his talk throughout the game yeah i really but, do like that moment really was like okay you you have more to you than you just know things you were you did some fucked up shit in your day yeah to protect yourself and in the end it bit you in the ass and now you're trying to make amends even though you can't physically do it yourself which is kind of fun right i like that dynamic where it's like kratos is kind of fixing his misdeeds for him because they're brothers mm. brother and whatnot <laughs> but, behind um, your brother so it, it, it's really cool to see that that quest really it was one of those side quests where i was like i'm not mad that i just went straight for story but i'm like i like this and i also was with freya as well mm -hmm. later on because like she joins into the game so there was different dialogue that i liked as opposed to being with uh, Atreus. Yeah. So it was like you get those different like you know interactions with different people and like Brock was there instead of Sindri at the uh, forge and I was like this is cool like mm. you can do different things and get different voice lines like the amount of fucking lines that are in this game is probably insane. In it has to be. So I'm like I kind of want to go back and do it right away. So mm. I'm with Atreus and maybe Sindri's at the forge. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't know but. That'd be cool to see if there was a uh, different things that happen. Plus, That's you would have cool less power as well too. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's fun. It, it's a fun fucking game. Of course. Story is great. It's getting really good from the part where I'm at right now. Um, 
I don't think you got to the part where no you didn't but uh Good we're, we're, we're gonna have a set piece soon that is a thing just put that that's a thing I'm gonna play this game yeah you so I can have game. things to say <laughs> yeah play more of this game you know you just, you bring your PlayStation controller tomorrow to your dad's house to play games probably also bring your steam deck and then you can just remote play I or do you have to be I, on the same internet? I don't know. I think I might have to be on the same Wi-Fi to do that. I think. I, I haven't tested it, but I, I, my I've brain was like, it. in theory, if you're just connected to Wi-Fi, then you could remote play from. Yeah. But I also don't know, so I could be wrong. I like to play on the console as much as possible, though. Like, while the remote play is great, mm -hmm. it still does not compare to being right, like, connected straight to 100%. the console. Because yeah. you'll get little hitches here and there. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, this is, this is a great experience. This is a great for like when I'm not near it, mm -hmm. but if I have the access to it, I'd rather be oh, sitting on the PlayStation. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I'm thinking I'm going to platinum this game just cause I love it. Um, Josh already did because Josh is a fucking beast. Josh. Yeah. Josh, the platinum Jeez. hunter. Um, I think he did it two days ago for context. So like he had from wednesday last week was when it came out right or am i no. came out wednesday yeah it did come out wednesday mm -hmm. so he had one two three four five on the sixth day i believe he played not last game. wednesday but wednesday before that yeah 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 so he's insane dude uh got yeah. it done very quick salute to him and his free time because i don't i don't think he has free time i think he just forces the time <laughs> That's one of those things where it's like he probably should be doing something else, like me most of the time, and he's just like, no, nah, I'm fucking drop everything <laughs> else. But he also doesn't have a family and children, so that'll do it. Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll help you. Uh, do it. <laughs> that'll help yeah. you get through. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all I played this week, besides Pokemon. But I don't really have much to talk about with it. It's it's okay. Yes. Some of the Pokemon that I've caught so far have been pretty neat looking. Um, I evolved my starter already. I, I still haven't gotten to the final evolution, but I like the middle evolution. It's just a standing cat, pretty much. Yeah. Um, and then I got this like weird like fire knight. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but it's really cool looking. And he also gets his ass kicked way too easily, but like, I want to evolve him. I'm like, come on, stop fucking dying, you piece of shit. Yeah. But his defense is ass. You gotta boost him. Yeah. Boost him up. I gotta feed him all the drugs from all the money I get from beating <laughs> children up in the street from battling them. You know, on, like if you look at Pokemon like that on paper, it's just like this is this is horrifying. Yeah, I saw a thing a TikTok today where it was like, guess the anime from these horrible descriptions, and it was like a small boy enslaves animals and feeds them <laughs> berries on his journey to fight them in rings, and I'm like. Beating other children, mm. having their Pokemon get destroyed and taking them to health centers to get them revived while feeding them drugs to make them small, stronger. And stealing those children's money. <laughs> Fighting grown men in gyms. Jesus Christ. Pokemon is no parents. insane. Meanwhile, the whole time you're actually eating the food which is Pokemon because nobody's a vegetarian. True. Make just imagine just your mom sending you out at 10 years old. Like, all right, I don't care. Go be yeah. a Pokemon trainer. If you had to eat one Pokemon, what would it be? I don't know enough of the Pokemon. Uh, so for, for the Pokemon I know. I, I mean, you could do the first, like, you know. Tauros. Tauros. Just regular beef. Yeah. That, boom. That, that'd be like, Huh? Psyduck. Eh. Duck. I'm not really big on duck. Duck. You would, that's what you would eat? I would eat duck. I would eat side duck. Do you think you get any of the side effects from eating side duck? I just get a headache. <laughs> Your voice becomes like that for a week. I'll deal with it. You're dressed like side duck. I am. <laughs> I'm getting a slight headache too because I drank an espresso too late at night. I was gonna. I thought about that. I, mean, I got a cash after you for that milkshake, but I thought about stop. that when you were like, "Hey, you want anything from Wawa?" And I was just like. I couldn't stand to be a little bit more awake, but I was like, no, it's like worry, past 8 o'clock. We're going to play a game tonight that's True. going to keep you awake for the rest of the night. Rest of my life. 
That's if it doesn't give us... If it gives us motion sickness again, I'm going to be so pissed. Me too. I thought about that as we were downloading it. I was like, we start it, I take a step. We're both we're like, oh God, turn it off. <laughs> we take one step. The camera like moves all around. Um. So the news. The news. Yeah. We um, got we to gotta come up with a news jingle. Yeah. Here's the news. Also, Brett says hello. Oh, Thomas, what's up? He also, well, to be fair, he did he did say what's up. But, like, you know, like the, the scary movie was up. Oh, what's up? Yeah. Tell me what's up. So, the news. <laughs> Just can't. Un- Goddamn. Um, so, we posted all of our news in our Discord. We're kind of going to speed run this now because we do have a decent bit of questions from the NGPs in the Discord as well. Yeah. But um, one of the stories that we got um, is from Limited Run Games. And if you don't know them, they uh, normally do like physical copies of games mm-hmm. that are in short runs. Um, I think we kind of, didn't we get a what's it called from it? Um, um, Demon Throttle. Demon Throttle. I, from I'm Limited pretty run? sure that's Limited yeah. Run. Limited Run Games does a lot of cool stuff like that. So definitely go check them out if you're interested in physical games as opposed to you know digital downloads. Mm-hmm. But they actually just put up a new game, um, and they what is the game called? It's called Jaime's Quest. H I M E apostrophe S Quest. Um, and this game is actually a Game Boy Color game. Cartridge and all. Cartridge and all, both with a regular version that you can get a limited run, um, which is like a light blue teal color, and then a Crunchyroll one where you get on the Crunchyroll store. Uh, I assume wow. this is from an anime um, that's on Crunchyroll. So pretty fucking cool. Um, I just saw this and I was like, that's so cool to see that in the year 2022, there's a new Game Boy Color cartridge. Yes. While it's not an official, like, it, by Nintendo made or whatever, that's such a crazy thing to see. It's definitely a nostalgia trip just looking at it. It's yeah. like, holy shit. I haven't seen one in so long. I love what they did with the logo, too, how they did, like, limited run games, but with, like, the Game Boy Color on the side of the box. Mm-hmm. They have the manual for it, and it even comes with a little poster for you as well. I don't know anything about the actual game itself, personally. Nor do I. But um, I just saw that was really fucking cool, and I really wanted to like take a yeah, second man. to be like, "This is neat." Hope they always do the last. super dope shit. Yeah. Maybe there'll be more Game Boy Color. Maybe even Game Boy Advance games in the future. Because I feel I'm like down. Game Boy Advance is making a comeback a little bit since TikTok. That's like yeah. the new thing with like the the handheld ones with the backlit screens. I've seen those. I'm like, man, yeah. I kind of just want it. Like, even yeah. if I didn't, I just they're like a hundred ish bucks. But the issue is that they're like made to order, and when they're sold out, they're sold out. Mm. And then the next run comes in, and you get your pre orders in. Oh, that's so cool. yeah, it, it's not hard to get, but it's like timing. You mm. know? But yeah, you gotta pretty know. Cool. Pretty pretty cool. Um, next up in the news that we posted, that we uh, care about. Uh, nah, we can skip that Pokemon one. We talked I think about that Pokemon, Pokemon one is bullshit as well. Yeah, but that's kind of why I was uh, like, uh, Do you want to just mention it real quick, that they were saying that, uh, uh there was a fix? They, all right, for Pokemon Scarlet Violet, they said there was a fix for the frame rate issues. It says frame rate issues can be fixed by restarting the game. For our English following, we feel that this is very important. Based on our testing, the biggest issue we have, the frame rate drops, appear to come from a memory leak or similar when you are near new towns or cities. In every test we did, when the frame rate became terrible after playing for a while, saving and restarting the game fixed it and returned it to normal levels. We hope this can be patched soon. Um, I tried this. It did not work. Yeah, and I didn't have it to try. So I was just like, I didn't hear anybody yeah. talk about it. So I was like, ah, I don't think that's I did try it. Um, it was after stream because I was just like, let me just try the fix because I knew it was there. Mm. It did not work. Um, I just ended stream and I was like, okay, let me restart my Switch. Hop back in the game. No, nothing. So that sucks. But yeah. um, next up. Sad news. Saddest news. The saddest news, and we will eventually, pretty soon actually, I think it comes two days, have a new set piece. But mm. in honor of uh, Jason David Frank, the green, red, gold, white, gold. Wait, he wasn't. He was gold, right? It, no, no, he wasn't gold. He's white. I'm, I'm tripping. He was green, white, red, red again, and then black. For Dino, which is my favorite right, version. I got that mixed up with gold. Yeah, I mean, because gold, gold has accents, black, yeah. and that's why I fucked yeah. me up. Okay. And then also the newer stuff that he's been doing with uh, the Lord da- Draken stuff, where it's like the evil version of mm. him. So, uh, I'm much more, obviously, um, if you don't know him, 
I'm personally, I've always been a guy that's like, you know, I don't like MMPR because it's just not my Power Ranger mm. team personally when I was growing up. But that dude was insanely for the fans. Yep. He was at every convention that he could go to, signed anything and everything for every single person that, you know, saw him as their hero when they were growing up and shit. Um, even CLD shared a story, I believe, a little bit lower down here back when uh, they were at a con together. Uh, let me see if I can find it so I can just read it and I don't butcher it myself. Uh, yeah, here it is. My favorite JDF memory isn't even from his multiple Ranger appearances. A few years ago, Frankie and our friends went to a con and a friend of ours who was like his biggest fan. This man saw my friend freaking out as we passed his booth and he walked away from his booth past the line of people waiting for him just to come say hi and take a picture with our friend Mind you, this man had been a, had a broken foot or something because he was in a walking boot. So Classic, this dude came man. out of his line knowing that this fan who was freaking out probably couldn't stand in the line because there are always long lines for him just because, yeah. one, he's very popular, and two, he takes the time with each person. So obviously their friend most likely couldn't stand in line with a boot for that goddamn long. Yeah. So he took the time to go take a picture with them. He even posted the picture on his Instagram and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's really sad, man. Uh, especially learning the way it happened. Yeah. Um, that was probably the hardest thing to see just because, I don't know, I feel like we've all had our uh, demons and shit. It's like, you don't want them going out like that. You don't want anyone going out like yeah. that. But man, I didn't see that coming for the reason. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of, in my mind, that's always the way it kind of happens from like most times when it's people like that it's always the people you least expect where it's like he was happy he has yeah. a family he has kids right. like he has obviously he's making a shit ton of money from all the cons he's doing so like you think he's got all, got it all you know mm -hmm. but obviously there was something you know eating at him in the back of his head or even in the front of his head if he was talking about it more so but um yeah man it's hard it's hard to talk about R.I.P. Jason David Frank. Yeah. We'll have something on the set soon in the background to uh, honor this man's legacy. Yep. If you know, you know what it is. Um, CLD actually has one already, but mm -hmm. this one, I think it's the same one that he has. And it's a, uh, it's really cool too. Yeah. This one, you, you can actually play it. It's like a nostalgia trip. You, you play the notes with the buttons. You can, oh, dope. And you can play different songs too. All right, now I can't wait. Yeah. It comes on on Friday for Figgy Friday. I'll figure five is going to be yeah. it. Yeah, it's going to be, it'll be emotional to say the least. But, um, yeah, rest in peace. Uh, tell someone you love them, call them, and tell them that. Please. You don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Mm, some of those closed doors are just the brain. <laughs> True. I feel like that was a terrible metaphor, but also kind of worked. Nah, I got it. Yeah, like it made sense, but it was also like you really delivered that terribly, but with conviction, yeah. though. I don't know if I did that with yeah, conviction. Yeah, that was conviction. I don't know about that. <laughs> anyway, but yeah. Next up. Next up. Uh, a new trailer for Sony's multiplayer third-person shooter, Convalaria, <laughs> coming in 2023 what to a PS5. Name. It's a wild name. Um, super stylish looking third person. Um, you said it looks like they took Destiny and said third person that shit. Yeah. Like it's um, like a mixture of Destiny and Anthem. I was I got Anthem from it when I was looking yeah. at it, I was like this just this looks like Anthem. Well, I mean well, Anthem is pretty much Destiny too, kind of. Yeah, but just third person. But this looks like a better version of what Anthem wanted to be. <sighs> unpopular opinion, very ridiculously unpopular opinion. I liked Anthem. I never played it. I I don't have an opinion to give. I I, I just don't know. I know that it failed. It failed, Monetarily. but man, if that would if they would have done it right, like it was from what I played of it, it used to be me, Grammatics, and mm -hmm. my homie um, Jmar. We played it. We all three of us got it. The only three people I know in the world personally who had it, um, and we were having a ball with that game. Okay, it was f like everybody you got the fucking pretty much Iron Man suits flying around, and getting it, that shit was fun, man. This just traversal was fun. Was it fun? With friends specifically, or would you play it by yourself? And so, well, when I wasn't amount? playing with them, I was playing by myself. Was it the same amount of fun? Or to you... me, okay, but see, yeah, that's fine. But see, obviously, it's I more know fun with friends. But... Yeah, every, yeah, but my like, I, I will give the caveat that 
Like, I'm not a huge multiplayer online gamer. Mm -hmm. Just not because I don't like it, but because I don't have the time to commit to something like a Destiny oh, yeah, that constantly does. gets updated. Like, I don't... It was, it was, so it was in that vein. Yeah. But I think because it had a super slow, problematic launch that I was able to like keep up with it a little bit. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. So like for me, it worked and I didn't play a lot of Destiny. Yeah. So since I didn't have that to immediately compare it to. Yeah. You were this just like, seemed this like my experience. Fresh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm That's... sure if I would have played Destiny with a bunch of people, I'd have been like, this is just trying to be a fake ass. Yeah, I mean, Destiny. to be fair, Destiny is first-person shooter, besides, like, you know, melee weapons, if you have them, mm -hmm. but, yeah, man, I, I, I never got into it, but it wasn't, like, a, a choice, it was just one of those things where it just wasn't on my radar, like, yeah. at all, kind of like Ghost of Tsushima, mm -hmm. like, Ghost of Tsushima wasn't on my radar until, like, the day it came out, and I was like, huh, that looks cool, bought it, and it's my favorite game, yeah. so, well, I mean, second, because Journey, but, but man, yeah. I... Uh, anyway, this does have an anthem -y vibe to it. Yeah, 100%. Um, I agree. I think it looks stylish. It looks fun. I'd like to just see more of as it develops. Yeah, isn't it also only published by Sony? That I saw a lot of subtweets in like the uh, the like on the Twitter post itself mm -hmm. where people are like they're they're advertising it as like by Sony, but it's just being published by them. Like, oh, like the actual so. trailer, not like the person who posted the trailer. Mm. But like people were like, it's weird how they're like promoting this as like a we're Sony and we made this shit when it's really like we're Sony and we paid to have this shit put out. Oh, well. So I don't know. I what guess that if, it's, is. if it's Sony, do you think it'd be Sony exclusive or no, did they no, just no, pay no. to put this out? I think they're just paying to put it out. It might be like. So that it'll, it'll align with year. Sony so that people yeah. get it on PlayStation. Yeah. Okay, I it'll be It'll probably be an exclusive for like a year maybe, mm. then come to PC. Then after, wh whether it does, if it does really good, I think it stays on PC and PlayStation. If it doesn't do that good, it's like a mid-tier or, or like terrible game, it'll come to Game Pass and Xbox mm. at some point. Right. But it's definitely just another third-person shooter with some style. Yeah. Which... We have a million of those, so it's not original, in my opinion. Mm. Not to say that it looks bad, it's just not original. And that's why I put it in here, because yeah. I looked at it, and as somebody who doesn't know, just like the Anthem thing, mm -hmm. I was like, let me get people who actually play these games a lot's 100%. opinion on this. Yeah, game. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know. We already talked about the Devolver thing, so I'll skip right past that. Um, I think one of these things that uh, Robbie tossed in here, uh, Gungrave Gore is actually on game pass now so you can go and get that if you have game pass mm -hmm. he hasn't tried it yet but from the thumbnail of the game it looks pretty neat it does that's why i had to ask i was like what is this yeah. and what is it like so i'm curious about that i mean i guess i could figure it out myself <laughs> on game pass true live on game pass day one um, next up in the news in three days pokemon sold twice as much of what god of war ragnarok did in the first week which is really sad <laughs> I know. Um, that was a really mixed feeling headline. I mean, if you think about it, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. In like the grand scheme of things, like God of War, game for adults on next gen consoles that are ex really hard to find. Right. Pokemon. But it's also on PS4. But it's still, like, nobody wants to play it on PS4. They will, but yeah. not everybody is like. There's a lot more people that are going to choose to wait till they get a PS5, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Pokemon. Baby game for babies. <laughs> with very bad graphics, but it's the same thing that you know and love with little different changes. Obviously, it's going to sell more. Because yeah. both adults are buying it for nostalgia, and because Twitch streamers, and the Pokemon craze. And then children are getting it for Christmas, or they're getting bought for Christmas to eventually be unboxed for Christmas. Like... Everyone's getting that game for kids. Yeah. It's a kids game. Right. There are more kids in the world than there are adults that have PS5. Very true. So, that's just the mathematics of it. Is it sad? Yes. But, whatever. It's what it is. It's also the latest entry in the Pokemon series achieves the largest worldwide launch weekend sales in Nintendo history. <sighs> Amazing. Well... Oh, well. Uh, next headline. Xbox and PlayStation don't expect to launch new consoles until at least 2028. Good. Documents have revealed. 
and yeah, good. You could probably go longer than that. I don't think we should get new consoles until the 2030s. The only console that we need a new one from is Nintendo, That's and it. then maybe Steam Deck 2 by 2025. 2025? Maybe. I'd say longer than that. I mean, like, 2025-ish. Like, the announcement. Maybe. maybe the announcement. Yeah. Like, here's a better version of that. Yeah. Maybe. But I don't want to. Ha- I don't want there to be a new PlayStation or Xbox until at least 2030. It's it's all. It's still taking so long to fully step into this generation. The biggest yeah. game, biggest debut game, outside of Pokemon, of God of like God of War is still releasing on both generations. Yeah, we haven't stepped fully into it. I don't think that comes till next year with Spider-Man Two or what else is coming out next year. A lot, but my brain yeah. is completely a blank when you ask the questions. Mine too. But either way, a lot of things that were announced for next year are just mm-hmm. strictly on these new consoles. 100%. Mm-hmm. And did the same way um, Gotham Knights cut off the previous generation release and went strict. It's finally starting to do the transition, yeah. but we're still not fully in mm-hmm. PS5, Xbox Series X only yeah. console games. To be fair, Gotham Knights technically did it piss poor, but it's fine. We gotta learn from something, right? Yeah. But yeah. So, this news is like, okay, but you know what? I would accept in 2028 that we hear that they're being worked on and they're coming. Yeah. But, but we shouldn't get them for a while. For yeah, till it's the next decade, right or so. <clears throat> I agree entirely. Um, next up, yeah. uh, these last two. I mean, the 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 next one is kind of like funny, um, <laughs> in comparison to the Pokemon beating it. But God of War Ragnarok, Sony has claimed, is the fastest selling first party game in PlayStation history. That's a big uh, achievement. Yeah. So mm-hmm. they sold what? Yeah. Ten million? Five million? Something like that. I think it was ten. I, I want to say ten million. Three, four days ago when they announced it, right? Mm-hmm. But I mean, it, rightfully so. Ten uh, million in what? Two weeks now? Yeah. Is nuts. It's been insane. Um, wonder how much of that's pre-orders as well. But I don't know if how they factor that into the equation that they're doing. But yeah, man, this game is <clears throat> the the thing that I am curious about. And is the Game Awards. Because while most award shows are, you know, paid for, you know, to like, I want this to win, we're going to give you money to promote it. The Game Awards is different because people vote. Like, the gamers vote on the website. While there's probably some backstage dealings for some games like we've seen in the past and we've called out live on stream. (laughs) um, I feel like Game of the Year is one of those that is untouched by paid promotion Mm -hmm. you know what i mean because like if it is paid promotion it's going to be the game that made the most money and in theory that game should probably be the one that wins anyway if you think about it in theory right now the race in my mind is between god of war and elden ring elden ring should be game of the year and i I don't know if here's the thing i have played elden ring for about 12 hours. I like it a lot. I'm not a Souls guy. I, I, mm. I've, In fact, I have gone down in history of saying I don't like those games because yes. I'm personally just not good at them. Mm-hmm. Elden Ring I like a lot. God of War I like a lot more because it's story. Now, I get that because I, I agree. Yeah. Um, but it's a game. That's the thing. Like, I, I, like, I'll, I'm going to say this. Elden Ring had a different effect on the gaming zeitgeist yeah, it community was more of a phenomena. than God of phenomena. War did. God of War is a extremely well done game that clearly everyone bought. Yeah. Elden Ring was a wrench thrown in left field that nobody like everybody it was anticipated, but no one expected to make a splash like it did and 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 it cultivated conversations that went on for yeah. who knows how to this day still because you could do so many different things in it. It was is literally your choice of what you want to do with yeah. everything, right? And that is why I, as much as I love God of War, I'd be like yeah. Elden Ring should win Game of the Year. See, that's where I feel like I didn't even think God of War would be at this Game Awards. I thought it was yeah. submitted 
to after it was our that, that's what confused me i think that they said something regarding i could be wrong but i think they put it on twitter something regarding it about in theory if it wasn't on this year's game awards it would most likely sweep all of next year yeah because like while there are big games coming out next year which all of them escape my brain currently spider-man um, zelda um what's yeah. the, the 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 um uh, what's the one? Yeah, that the one. Space one. Dead it, space. No, Callisto well, Protocol. Not, not, neither one of those. Um, we watched. It was a Xbox. It was the the big expansive space game that has that can go on forever. Oh, the one with the Fallout team. Yes, that one. I don't know the name because I don't care. All right, Discord. Not to, not to say I'm, that it's bad. I just I don't yeah. care about it because it's from the Fallout people and I don't like those games. <laughs> so one of you will put it in Discord. Yeah. Um, but that. From gameplay for context. It's not that I don't like the story. I just... Yeah. Fallout 3 fucked me in a bad way. You liked the trailer, though. When we were watching it. Yeah. The trailer was cool. That's not gameplay. And their gameplay they for every single game gameplay. pisses me off. Like, I hate Skyrim. Anything Bethesda. I don't like... I don't like the UI. I don't like the way you move around. It doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. It feels clunky. Yes. I agree with that. And I don't like that. I agree with it that. It makes me feel annoyed. Like, it's, it's weird... Because it's similar to cyberpunk, but cyberpunk somehow does it in a way where I don't feel like I'm fucking walking on Legos. True. <laughs> walking on Podcast Legos. Title. I'm walking on Legos. Wow. <laughs> it really, really hurts. Did you see that they made uh, slippers for that? Lego. The Lego company made slippers so that if you walk on Legos, it doesn't hurt now. I mean, couldn't you put almost any other yes, footwear on? Yes, but it's on? Lego branded, and it's okay. very meta. All right. Facebook meta. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Barbecue Facebook sauce. Meta. Got it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but to your point, I, I, I don't. It might. I don't know if it was. It probably, maybe it would have sweeped. But there's a lot of heavy hitters yeah. coming out next year, though. But, but you, in theory, it would have definitely sweeped. Like even with the heavy hitters, sweep. Uh, in mm. my mind. Mm. Like, no offense to Spider-Man, because I love Spider-Man, obviously. You can tell by literally a picture of my room. I don't think that Spider-Man will ever beat God of War. I don't think it'll beat it. I just think it'll win certain categories. I don't. Not as long as God, God of War, War is next. Yeah. Not right. this God of War. And that's that's just me from the point of view that I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. I'm. There's also a, a part of me that hopes that Spider-Man 2 does... And sees what Ragnarok is doing and kind of copy paste a little bit, if you know what I'm talking about. You kind of do because you, you're far enough in to know what that yeah. means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. want to spoil much yet. I feel like I'm trying to think of like when we could do a spoiler talk for that, but I, it's gonna be a while because you're not gonna beat it for God knows when. Look, I'm trying. I'm gonna get back to like, it. Yeah, but it's not even like you trying or not trying. It's like you like to do the side quests. Mm. You're not gonna finish the story for a while because of that there okay. are so many side quests i was literally walking around casually during a main quest and found three side quests during it mm -hmm. like i was just like walking with atreus and it was just like oh yeah we're heading to whatever this mission is and then there's just like to the side the fucking logo for a side quest on this item on the ground and i'm like I guess I'll go grab it just so I have it. And <laughs> yeah. then two more happened. And then the last one was like right after it was like, let's go back to the house and like regroup. And it was like, hey, do you want to help me over here? Yep. Please, can you help me? I need you to find this thing for me. Please and thank you before you go back. And I'm like, here we go. I already got two side quests in this exact quest. I don't want to talk to you, Mr. Dwarf. Leave me alone. Yeah, they're good with that. They just, they lure yeah. me in. So, I mean, unless you just do a straight story playthrough, which you could also do, in yeah. theory. You could just be like, I'm going to mainline story <laughs> and then go back. With the way shit I'm doing, I should be doing You should. I, we story. should flip-flop the way we play. <laughs> yeah. Because I mainline story, and then I'm like, I'll go back to side quest now. Yeah, yeah. You have the time to do a bunch of side quests. I don't, and I'm doing all these side yeah, quests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should just switch. We should switch. Freaky Friday. Right. Freaky Kratos. That'd be a fun Freaky Friday thing if they switched their consciousness. Could you imagine that for, like, a side mission? If, like, something <laughs> magical happened and Kratos was in Atreus' body, and then Atreus was in <laughs> Kratos' body? That'd be such a good side mission. It would be. I just want Kratos. It's so meta. 
Atreus hears the talk and Kratos' voice comes out. He's just like, boy. <laughs> but then he's like, <clears throat> boy. And then Atreus is like, hmm. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sad and angry. You're really good at grunting over there. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never be me. Just boy. sounds like mad Elmo. It's mad Mickey. <laughs> All right, last one. Oh, man. Last one. God of War Ragnarok's director has said he'd love to make a Castlevania game. I saw Should this Konami interview. Should Konami be willing to outsource the license? I, saw, I want it so Please bad. Please do that. I want it so bad. Like, just, when he, when, when he said that, like, I watched him on, uh, he was on Kind of Funny and said it. I watched it, I was like, I've never thought of that, but it, that property lends itself so well to that God of War, like... The worst part, Engine? when he was telling the story about it, he's like, it was the day of the release of the game, and they came in to get me, and I was playing Castlevania on my Steam Deck instead of God of War <laughs> that just came out. It would work so well. It would be great. Given, Especially with the anime, I was side about to by say side. That. Given the, uh, the, the, the history of the game, period, so you have a whole bunch to pull from, so you can make mad sequels. Yeah, you can and reboot shit. With the anime, too... Alongside, <sighs> that that would I feel like if they made a new Castlevania game, that would re reinvigorate the franchise the way that the anime tried to do, which I think it did slightly, mm -hmm. but it's I don't think it's at its full potential yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I feel like the franchise was huge back when like the original games were coming out. You know, and, like, yeah. That was the big deal. Then it died down. And it was like, yeah, here's some more. Here's some more. And mm -hmm. then the anime came out, and it was like this resurgence of love for it. And it's like at this level, where it's yes. like a mid-tier level, where everyone knows that that anime is good, knows Castlevania games are good, but it needs that edge. And a fucking next-gen console game oh. made by the motherfuckers who made God of War, directed by the guy that did this one, or even uh, the director of the first game, do a co-director thing. Ugh. I, Ugh. It, it's got a lot of Pierce perfect. in there to write it. it. It's perfect. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's do that. Do that, please. Do Konami, it. give them the rights. Hell yeah. You're not even using it. Give them the shit. Hell yeah. And now it's time for questions. We're gonna do these a little bit rapid fire. Yeah, we gotta um, do a rapid fire. And then we have to play some games tonight. Yeah. Before we'll try to finish before midnight, hopefully. Yes. I mean, to be fair, we do have off tomorrow for turkey, and we don't have to do much besides eat and sleep. So. True. But we still need to get home. Yeah. Um. So, which one are we gonna start with? Uh. I think we have to do. I don't want to do the interview one. The twenty first. You can always cast Pokemon. I don't know about that. I think All that right. was more joke via stream, to be fair. Gotcha. All right. To use the bathroom, right. so. Okay. This is a time. Last we'll do two. The we'll last do those. two, yeah. What would, from Frankie, quite frankly in the chat, what would be your gamer Thanksgiving meal? Well, if we go based on our show, it would be Blueberry Kit Kats. <laughs> Those uh, flying saucer candy things. Oh, yeah. Uh, what else have we done here? We ordered cookies that one time. So yeah, insomnia cookies. Cookies from insomnia. Um, that burger place that I got from the one time. Oh, bullseye burgers. Yeah, that was fucking good. Um, if we're going more traditional, though, and we're saying, like, we're playing a game while eating Thanksgiving leftovers, the way I'm eating my leftovers is I'm having stuffing as my base, kind of like a Wawa bowl. And then I'm putting turkey on the top of it with uh, potatoes on the side. And I'm exclusively eating with a fork. We're not doing the sandwich. Post, the post sandwich. You, 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 it's the one time of year where you can have mashed potatoes on a sandwich and nobody looks at you weird. True. Because Jesus Christ. Um, yes. But he yeah, would forgive you. It would definitely just be like a regular plate. If it's regular Thanksgiving shit. If it's our Thanksgiving, like our shit, I would be like fucking burger and that would be messy and that would be a bad time but like the flying saucers nerds gummies the little the ball ones you got to eat the uh what was it the cheese the cheetos with the uh oh yeah the, the, the chopsticks. chopsticks yeah the chopsticks those johns um that's all I'm eating everything too literally every <laughs> single thing cuz then I'll get cheeto dust on it and then I'll eat a nerds rope uh ball cuz I don't I don't want the rope the rope's stupid get the balls cuz the then ball the nerds don't fall off got it um but then I would have cheese dust on the chopsticks 
and I would eat the nerd ball and I would be at first like, wow, that's gross. But then for some reason, my brain, I'm like, why would that be good? Because it might be good. It might be. You never know. We got to spread. Yeah. I want a charcuterie board of shit. Yeah. That would work. Yeah. Charcuterie shit. <laughs> shit cooterie. Shit cooterie. <laughs> shit cooter eat. We'll work on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next up in the Discord for questions and last of all, Unigov asks, what are y'all thankful for? What are you thankful for, Ant? Uh, I'm thankful for two years and a hundred plus episodes for damn sure. Thankful for our NGP community as always. I'm thankful that... I'm thankful for it. I'm just going to sound just basic, like plain as paper, but I'm thankful for video games mm. because it brought us all together and they've been a part of my life since birth. Uh, That's three so far. Thankful for a lot of shit. I'm thankful for this show. I'm thankful that uh, we're building this show up to be something bigger than ourselves. And I should say the same recording brand is going to be it's bigger than ourselves. Keep that in five. Cool. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Now. Hell yeah, and I got kids and a family and all that shit. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> They're I'm good. They're really cool. happy that your wife is not listening to this podcast. They're all right. Because you have five <laughs> things in front of of your family and technically this wasn't even a part of it they get going out there you said you were done after the five they go out saying they're fine do they yeah i've I've brought them up a million times oh man and and brendan and adrian i'm so thankful for them go your turn listen i'm trying to keep you out of the doghouse i won't be in it sure they know i love them Sure, but like, I, I I got you. I, I, I know. I'm thankful for but my I'm two sons saying. and my beautiful wife. You can edit. The beauty of this is that you can edit that in front of all of them. That's, and then I just look like an idiot. It's not funny that way. You go. <laughs> True. Um, I guess I'll I'll stick with the, uh, I'll, you know, I'll go the, the sentimental route first. Mm-hmm. And then I'll get into the, the, the goofy <laughs> shit that I'm thankful for. Um, to start off with, I'm thankful for my friends and some family because some of my family some are a little bit much Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not direct family but like you know like family adjacent like you know what i mean like i do when when you say the word family like you're in a fast and furious movie that also includes like everyone but like there's a lot of members like you ever go to the family reunion and you're just sitting there and you're like who the fuck's that yes yeah that's my family reunion exclusively now Mm -hmm. like it's never actual family anymore it's just friends of family that are at a family reunion that aren't any at all related to us and Mm -hmm. we're just like why are you eating our food who are you yeah like you could be anybody we rented this park pavilion so we could make our burgers without seasoning you don't get any right the caucasity of you coming in here (laughs) and eating all of our macaroni if you know you know (laughs) probably just ryan but yeah Okay. Oh, the editing we have to do. Oh, the editing we will do. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, um, I would say, I don't know. I mean, that, that's a very big blanket of family and friends. But, you know, I feel like I've definitely accrued a very good friend group over the past, like, three, four years mm-hmm. that I did not know any of at all. And the way that I got into this friend group is kind of hilarious and ironic. Yeah. Because the gateway is gone like the bridge has been burned super bad for that but like i'm now into the kingdom where i should have been all along it's crazy i thought about this metaphors the other day. baby Got look at that that was a good one but yeah i, I thought yeah. about that recently and i was like if that didn't happen this yeah. wouldn't happen like it's, it's one crazy. of those things where you're like thankful that that happened but then you're also like damn that came with a lot of strife and pain and you just gotta, mental anguish. You just got to think of it like, clearly this was meant to happen, so that yeah. it was just... It needed to happen some It way. needed to happen yeah. so this could happen. 100%. So that, that that's a good feeling mm. to uh, have those people in my life. Um, I don't know. 
other than that, you know, just living my life day to day, existing mm-hmm. at the moment. I'm thankful for that. At the moment, I've been in other mind spaces pre- previously that, uh, you know, I won't say, go into too much detail on the main pod. Maybe on the Patreon. Yeah, we'll see what Patreon's happens there. That's what it's for. Yeah, maybe we'll have another episode where you just randomly go, all right, let's talk about your your deep, dark thoughts in the first three minutes. <laughs> Is and this then, Patreon? Yeah. Oh, well, of course. Let's yeah. go. Maybe we'll do that again. It seems like at least a couple people like that episode, so maybe we'll dive into uh, my past trauma if we want to. It's Let us know, Patreon people. I'm um, sure they'll be down. Fucking A. <laughs> That'll be fun to revisit. Uh, probably digitally. <laughs> Probably, uh, but you know that's a thing. Uh, obviously, video games because it's a it's a wonderful escape from the actual bullshit of life. That uh, you know, random bullshit you don't want to deal with. You can just escape and go be a blood hungry god who doesn't want war, but also is murdering <laughs> every single thing that he sees. So yep. That's a thing. That's why I talk Kratos. Or you know, hop into a lobby with a twelve year old saying the f word casually. Um. But, you know, it's not all bad. It's, it's good. Um, what else am I thankful for? Uh, shit. I'm not thankful for a lot. It's weird. I mean, I guess you could be selective with what you're thankful for. Obviously, the podcast is one, but I, I, I kind of included that in video games in my brain. I, I'm thankful that this is a thing that we're consistently doing. Because if mm-hmm. I wasn't doing it, I feel like I'd be missing something, you know? Like, now it's, like, one of those things where it's, like, when we don't do it, I'm, like, yeah, I'm missing a part of my week. Yes. Like, like when we, we take a break every once in a while, like, the two times we have, those <laughs> two weeks, I'm just, like, man, I'm forgetting something exactly. life-wise. It feels incomplete. Like, yeah. it's something I left somewhere that I don't know. Yeah, like, but... where the fuck is my wallet? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This, but, you know, this is the wallet of the week. Yeah, it's like damn, like, it's a title. <laughs> phone keys wallet podcast. Right. That's I like that. Where's my ass? I cast? like that as a title. Wallet of the week. Phone keys wallet oh, podcast. Like you're checking your pocket. I always do that before I leave. That was my phone keys I wallet, do the same thing. and I just like slap my ass a little bit. You know. I do this. Get a little pep in my step as I'm leaving. I do this because I be like, is my ring on? Is my watch on? And then I start slapping myself. Yeah. You're just like here and you're like, there's nothing there. That's correct. Yeah, there's nothing supposed to be but here. But then there is something there and you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> ah, I didn't put my gun away. <laughs> you have the fucking Leon strap underneath your shirt. <laughs> Topical, because what we're going to play. I have the gun from the first Batman, the long pistol Joker gun. And it just shoots out the bang stick. Yeah, I, I love like my that. bang stick. I'll leave this bank stick home, but I'll take this bank stick with me. Taxes. I'm thankful for taxes. No, I'm just kidding. Gotta be. Um, yeah, that, that, that's about all I'm thankful for. I mean, the podcast, friends and family, and, and gaming. Obviously, Spider-Man is a thing. <laughs> of course. For. Not to be, like, cheeky, but, you know. Yeah. That's, like, my, one of my favorite things that exists on this world mm-hmm. um, that will never be Something that straight. you derive joy from. Yeah. If there wasn't Spider-Man, I don't know what I would be nerding over. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a couple things, obviously, but, you know, yeah. that's the main thing. And it's it's always been good to me and never been bad. So, there's that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I think that's that's what I got, personally. Well, we thank you guys for the oh, question. Oh, pussy. Please bleep that. Do we <laughs> just have so that to? They, yeah, bleep it so they don't know what I said All about right. this part. <laughs> we'll just cut to here. So, that beautiful was the episode. Man, the editing. The amount of editing. <laughs> well, um, you want to close this out or do you want me to do it? What do you want to do? You want to Rochambeau it? All right, you ready? All right, one time on go. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? You just pre road. <laughs> yeah, I'm all about that pre. All right. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, you're taking it away. One time and go. Thank you, everyone, for another episode, for listening to us deliver another episode or watching of the Save for Quitting podcast. We love you so much. Fireball, uh, fireball. Boo, boo. Man, the editing this episode. That's for me. The editing should this be the title of the episode. Me. This is my punishment to me for making the audio editing going bad. <laughs> this is going to be called the editing. Um, 
as always, say before quitting. Save letter B number four. Quitting on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, Twitch and YouTube. Titty Gang represent. Uh, say before quitting, all the way spelled out. Get that merch. Save before quitting at gmail.com. All the way spelled out. Send us some emails. That's the merch noise. It's beautiful. It's AS- so serene. ASMR. It, um, hey, follow, join the Discord. Follow us on Patreon. Mad stuff. Mad community. Mad fun. That's what Happy we're all about community. Here. Not mad community like that, but yes. Mad in... Mad in the, abu- the, the abundant community. The quality. Yes. Mad quality. Mad quality, son. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So... Before, before you get mad. Before you get mad. And you're probably get full. Get glad. <laughs> Hashtag ad. Glad bag. Don't uh, be bad. What? This is kind of sad. Bars. That was my one bar session that I can ever do. Chris bars. It's a three letter word section. Hey, get it, you gotta start yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Um. Was that above or below? That was it a, sounded low. It's, I think it was above. Before my house falls apart, I need you to save, save before, before quitting. quitting. And we'll, and we'll see, see you next, next time. time. Peace! so bad same oh my god i'm getting the rumblies in my tumbly i'm getting i look like winnie the pooh i'm realizing oh bother i need to piss so bad (laughs) piglet get over here open your mouth i need a receptacle (laughs) oh dear poo you're jesus christ does it taste sweet because of all the honey i eat all my piss the piss is as golden as the, the, the honey I eat. Welcome to the Pooh Bear Golden Shower. I've got the power to fill you with this sour piss. Oh, bother. Christopher Robin, come over here. Put me out of this tree Jay so I can pee. You have a huge cock. What's, what's the, the Eeyore sound? What's, he say? what's his tagline? What does he say? Does he say know, something sad? Too? I don't want to be a bother or some shit like that. I want to die. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. He might as well say that. Pin the tail in my eye so I could fucking die. <laughs> Pin the tail in my ass. I could feel something in this world. Don't worry, your I'll <laughs> peg you real quick. Your poo is your poo. <laughs> your poo is it's so pretty stinky. Good. <laughs> oh my bother. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What is, what is happening? I don't. I just discovered that I could do that. That's now. really good. I kind of just did it, and it just came out well, and I kept rolling with it. So I'm really happy that it went well. Because if not, that would have been really embarrassing. <sighs> Imagine like if I did it and I just sounded like Steve Buscemi or some shit. Hey, we would have kept it anyway. Steve, Fuck it. Gary Buscemi. What's Buscemi's first name? I, I don't. I thought from the Adam Sandler movies. Good. I don't. Is fucking... it Steve? Or is it Gary? Fam, we'll figure this out. I have to pee. You do that. I'm going to Google this and then stop the recording once I figure right, out. We'll stop it on both things. I don't know how to do the other one. Look, look, look. look. There's Gary Busey. That's not a Buscemi. Look. Show, look at what I'm showing you. This. This square right here. I just hit that. Stop. Steve. Steve. Buscemi. All you right. can do it now. All right, bye. Because I don't want to fuck it up. Oh, bother.